want you to uh, take a listen, um, parents uh, who have Christian kids, uh, how bad uh, government uh, schools are getting. It, this says uh, Colorado sex ed to ban abstinence. This is from the Dr. Duke show. We also had ab. All right, well, let's go to Colorado, which is having a sex ed bill that would force kids to learn the LGBT ideology. But you can't talk about abstinence? Back in the 80s when we had Ronald Reagan and we had the, the don't ask, don't tell policies, we had, no t we had the um, uh, just say no program, we also had abstinence-only education. That in the 80s, we would teach kids in the public schools the biology of sex, sperm and egg, birds and bees. But we wouldn't teach them morality. We wouldn't teach them the politics of sex. We wouldn't um, uh, sexualize them at young ages. That was a wonderful tradition. Let the parents do it. The progressive educrats rebelled against that. And for 40 years, they've been planning exactly what you're seeing here. to get Not only to get rid of abstinence-only education, but to replace it with radical sexual comprehensive education, which we've documented on this show already numerous times. And the show's going back since we started this show. Every week there's been one of these stories. What they wanted to do is not only get rid of abstinence education, they wanted to make abstinence not possible. This wildly controversial comprehensive sex education legislation has ignited national discussions about how far Americans want to expose their chill children to radical social agendas. This is Colorado Bill HB 1032. It would specifically prohibit religious, moral, and ethical perspectives on sex from even being discussed in the classroom. So if we're teaching to your five-year-olds transgenderism, you no longer have as the parent the right to protest on ethical, moral, or religious grounds, and teachers no longer have the ability to protest on ethical, moral, and religious grounds at all. They simply have to do it. The bill forbids any emphasis on abstinence, forbids it, and sexual risk avoidance. You can't do that either. And the bill even declares that saying so in the classroom is against the law. And the thing is, the Colorado bill, it already passed the House, and it's now already in a Senate um, committee, and so it's gotten through several stages. It's, it's halfway there. So if you think, oh, this will never pass, it's halfway there, oh, and, and it's by going the way, to pass. Oh, and by the way, the governor of Colorado is openly homosexual. Yeah, yeah. It's going to pass. Mm -hmm. And they're going to criminalize the ability to talk about abstinence. This is going to happen in Colorado. Oh, yeah. In, in what, okay, there are going to be students, though, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, me the optimist, that there are going to be students who are like, well, what if you just don't have sex? Or, you know, maybe they don't know abstinence as the term, but... What's the teacher supposed to do then? If you're not allowed to mention it, are they just supposed to go ask your parents? Or yep. I mean, The reason for putting all of this transgender sex, all of this homosexuality, all of this sexual promiscuity, the reason for doing it, according to the left, is moral. It's not educational, right? It's in the name of tolerance and kindness, right? These are moral values. Only and so their moral, their moral values, right? Yeah. So in the name of morality, our morality, we forced this. We forced our morality on your kids. If you want to object on a moral basis, you can't now. If you want to use religion or common sense or human decency or science to protest all of this, well, then your morality is banned. So uh, yeah, I mean, we're living in an Isaiah five twenty world uh, where people call good evil and evil good, and um. I was never being too harsh when I called uh, the Democratic Party liberals for what they are. Communists, totalitarian fascists, um, baby murdering antichrists. I mean, if you vote Democratic and are aware of what the Democratic Party is all about, that's what you are. Uh, I mean... This is absolutely insane. Uh, I mean, I've already I already heard reports about um, incidents in um, bathrooms because of the whole transgender. I mean, your kids aren't even safe in bathrooms anymore. Uh, this is so sad. Um, something to think about, uh, Christian parents. Get your kids out of government schools if you can. Um, you know, liberals, some of them have such a wish-washy view of who God is. And, um, that's one of the problems that we have a, a, 
you know, the gospel is so watered down. You have so many false, phony uh, pastors, so-called pastors on, uh, you know, it's really sad that the majority of so many people in the world look at uh, TV preachers, pop preachers, and think that that's real Christianity, which it is not. Um, there's a lot of them who, they have no accountability. They have a lot of money. So you could just, you know, start your own church, preach how you want. And there's real no biblical accountability. So these people aren't, like, you know, most of them aren't real pastors. They're uh, making Christianity look horrifically bad. And, you know, God is serious about his holiness. He's a loving God, but he's also a, a wrathful and avenging God. Um, remember the uh, plagues that God uh, inflicted on Egypt, uh, killing the firstborn and, and all, the, all the, the plagues of Egypt. Um, Exodus chapter 10, verses 1 to 2. Look what God says. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and the heart of his servants, that I may perform these signs of mine among them, and that you may tell in the hearing of your son and of your grandson how I made a mockery of the Egyptians and how I performed my signs among them, that you may know that I am the Lord. Uh, God is uh, a very holy God, and he's just, and he's, also, he's a God of love, but he's also a God of wrath. Um, uh, Jesus commands uh, his followers to... Uh, live holy, and um, if uh, someone doesn't do that, and they think they're a Christian, then they're not going to be saved from the eternal wrath of God, which is hell. Jesus said, you are my friends if you do what I command you, John 15, 14. Um, Christians, we need, we need to let people know who the real God of the Bible is, because he is extremely misrepresented on TV, on the internet, and all over. So um, we have to let the world know who the God of the Bible is. He hates sin, and he commands all people to repent of their sins uh, and accept the gospel. Let's uh, be ready to give a defense for what we believe, 1 Peter 3.15, and proclaim the truth of the gospel, because wow is the world in really, really bad shape now and uh the gospel is the um answer that we need to be ready for persecution ready to give a defense and we need to proclaim the gospel to uh lost people out there uh, if you have kids in government schools i i can't even imagine i mean it's so immoral uh now we're at the point where it's so immoral I mean, just look at the videos that I've made in the past talking about all the nonsense going on. But hopefully it gives you something to think about.